Well, George, we here at Sandlac like to think of ourselves as a fairly progressive company. I feel like I don't... I don't have to explain every little thing to you. You understand everything immediately. I enjoy understanding. We have a small but prestigious group of clients. Well, a lot of people consider me uh, small and prestigious. <laughs> I want you to have this job. Of course. Stu Zimmer's online, too. Great, thanks. I've got to take this call. I want you to have this job. Of course. Yeah. That's it. Maybe he was going to say, of course, I have to check with my associates. I want you to have this job. Of course, the board of directors is under indictment and will be serving time. I want you to have this job. Of course, sodomy is a prerequisite. <laughs> All right. Why don't you just go ahead and call him? Because he made a big deal about how I understand everything immediately. That's what impressed him. So if you call to ask if you have the job, you might lose the job. And if I don't call... You might have the job, but you'll never know it. <laughs> so, uh, I still haven't heard about that job. Yeah, that's a tough one. What are you going to do about that? I show up. What do you mean, you show up? I pretend I have the job. The guy's on vacation. If I have the job, it's fine. If I don't have the job, by the time he comes back, I'm ensconced. Hmm, not bad. Good morning. How can I help you? Uh, the name's George Costanza. Uh, I'm starting work here today. I was wondering if you could... Uh, Tell me where my office is. Mike, this is George Costanza. He's starting here today. Welcome aboard. Thanks, Mike. Nice to be aboard. I didn't even know Mr. Tuttle was finished interviewing. Oh, well, he was probably just getting anxious to start his vacation. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know where his office is. There's the big one down the hall there and uh, the small one over here. You know, I should ask Jack. Oh, leave Jack alone. Jack's got enough problems. <laughs> I'll just uh, take the small office. Really? Yes, I, I like to feel cozy. <laughs> all right, all right. It's 808 right down there. Meanwhile, I'll get you the Penske file. You can start working on that. Yes, yes, of course. The Penske file. Oh, can't wait to sink my teeth into that. Wow, that Penske. Well, we'll straighten him out. <laughs> so what do you do there all day? They gave me the Penske file. Yeah. So it's a nice place to work? You know, I'm enjoying it very much. I think my co-workers are really taking to me. We're like a family. Yeah. In fact, yesterday was Grace's birthday. She's such a sweet woman, so we had a little party with, you know, cake and champagne. Yeah. And I made a toast. And what, what about your boss, the guy who interviewed you? He'll be back on Monday. <laughs> Penske? Of, of the Penske file? Stanza? Arthur Penske. Mr. Mr. Penske, I, I, uh, I was just working on your file. <laughs> I was uh, transferring the contents of the file into this uh, flexible accordion style folder to. Uh... Where's Tuttle? He's on vacation. He was on vacation the last time I dropped by. Give me my file. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Well, you know, in college, they used to call me the little bulldog. <laughs> there you are, Penske material. Would you ever consider coming to work directly for me? Really? You are aware. Uh, Mr. Costanza? Not now, Clarice. I thought Mr. Penske should know they're towing his car. <laughs> Tuttle, you're back. I'm surprised to find you here. You are? God, I thought you would have taken the larger office. Oh. Oh, really? Where's that Penske file? Let's see what you've been up to all week. Well, here it is. What have you been doing all week? Well, you missed a lovely little party that we had for Grace. You haven't done anything with this. Well, bear in mind, I am in the smaller office. 
I'm beginning to wonder if you understand anything. You are aware that uh, Penske is interested in me. <sighs> You're not Penske material. <laughs> really? Well, we'll just see about that. A ta ta. A ta ta. <laughs> George, I, I'm sorry I gave you the wrong impression. What I was going to say was, now you are aware that our board of directors uh, has been indicted, <laughs> myself included, and we're prohibited from doing business until the investigation is completed. So, obviously, we would have no use for you. Obviously. <laughs> yes? Excuse me, but Mr. Costanza's car is being towed. <laughs>